We're here in uh, Phoenix at the Brewers camp. Danny Nobler from CBSSports.com with Ken Maka, the new manager of the Brewers. And Ken, a, a nice opportunity to come into with a team that went to the playoffs, was able to keep the lineup intact, and, and really a, a good quality team. Well, it's, uh, you've got to take advantage of the opportunity now. Um, <clears throat> they've got the tremendous expectations. I think uh, looking at it, if you become a manager, you'd much rather have a club that does ha have expectations. And with all that being said, have a few holes in the pitching uh, staff, and uh, we've uh, filled those holes up with a bunch of veterans that we brought in, and uh, you know, hopefully that all work out. Uh, that's why you're here in spring, uh, get your holes filled and uh, get ready for the uh, regular season. You average 92 wins a year in your four years in Oakland, um, but then two years uh, hoping to get another job. I'm sure th to get this opportunity here really made you excited. Well, I, you know, I'm very grateful to Doug Melvin and uh, and Mark, uh, uh, the owner of Mark Anastasio. <laughs> I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce his name. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm very grateful to those guys. Uh, give me this opportunity to come back here uh, you know when I worked hard to get the first job that I did have and had some success and you know when you're sitting on the sidelines so what you got left is hope so those guys uh, uh, fulfilled a little bit of a wish for me to get back into this game and uh, hopefully I can uh, make uh, what they did uh, pay off for them. Prince Fielder obviously came into camp looking really good, uh, having lost a little bit of weight with the new contract. Also, the organization having made a commitment to him. What, what I know you're just getting started with the full squad workouts, but you've seen him around. What 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 do you see from him? Well, not only him, but I'll focus on him. I just feel in general that people who go about their job with a big smile on their face, they normally perform a lot better. So uh, Prince has got a big smile on his face right now. I mean, he's happy with the contract as compared to last year. He's a little bit uh, down as part of the business, though, uh, things that went on. But uh, generally speaking, the entire team, very much impressed with the enthusiasm that all these guys have. Uh, uh, after I got hired last winter, uh, I made phone calls to everybody, went to the Winter Fest. And now, so far in spring training these days, uh, the enthusiasm is very high. and. They're, they're happy to come out on the field and get their work in. It's kind of unusual. We were talking about uh, yesterday that your one chance really to see this team in person last year was one of their worst uh, series of the season in Boston. It, it kind of ironic then that that would be the team you had a chance. Obviously, you know that uh, they had a lot better days than those three. Well, you know, uh, one of that little saying that they say, it always gets darkest before uh, you see the light. And... Uh, you know, sometimes uh, you, you got to hit bottom before you before you come up. And um, you know, talking to the coaches that have remained, they said that well, that was a, P, uh, a key uh, series for them because uh, they felt like they were embarrassed there. And uh, I believe they went to Pittsburgh next and just turned it on. And from them, they started playing some great ball. And uh, when ownership saw them playing ball like that, they went on and got CC, and next thing you know, they get in the playoffs. And speaking of CC, one last thing. Obviously, CC's not here anymore. Uh, CC Sabathia and Ben Sheets isn't here anymore. But you've got uh, a rotation that has the potential, and especially the two young guys, uh, Giovanni Gallardo and Manny Parra. W what do you look for from them? Uh, how much do you know about those two guys? Well, you know, just the time here watching them. Uh, uh, they got great stuff, both of them. Uh, really, the pressure's on our staff, you know, to help them develop. Uh, both of those guys can be top of the rotation pitchers, uh, can bleak game pitchers. Uh, so, uh, you know, I was with Oakland, and we brought a lot of young guys in. Uh, hopefully I can bring a little knowledge here, uh, uh, help those guys along as far as their innings are going to pitch, uh, innings pitch are concerned, and how they um, – develop their pitchers so they're able to be go go out there and be successful so you know it's up to the coaching staff the talent's there let's see if we can help these guys come along very good thanks very much ken in phoenix arizona with the brewers i'm danny nobler from cbssports.com